Hi everybody, it's Dr. Nicole with Healing Hands and welcome back. I have Pamir Besman with me. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having me. It's such a pleasure. Uh, you're welcome. It's Hi, my pleasure actually. Um, so Pamira, you've been um, you've been actually initially indoctrinated into the pharmaceutical industry, mm -hmm. and today um, I I asked Pamira if she would talk a little bit about the flu shot because I know a lot of our patients have been asking me, um, you know, they're already getting the pressure from their medical doctor mm -hmm. or seeing signs and all kinds of gosh, it's 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 so. It's so out there in the advertising. It's like every other commercial is get your flu shot. So we have patients that are already asking about it, and I thought that you would be able to shed an amazing amount of light on this topic. I'll do All my right? best. Okay. So um, a part of my career was focused on the flu shot, and uh, for my e employer, which was uh, one of the top 10 pharmaceutical global companies in the world, um, my job was to manage the first nationwide flu shot project that was executed in pharmacies across the nation in the United States and um, obviously back then I was a pharma girl and I believe I was helping save lives um, but something put a little doubt in my mind at one of our meetings uh, where we had all the executives around the table and uh, the heads of the different companies that were um, uh, collaborating for this project before the actual meeting started they were talking about how ineffective the flu shot was because of the way that it actually uh, needs to be uh, based on last year's strains and only a couple of select ones, not even all of them, it's not even all inclusive. If we, if we did a flu shot um, and then went back in history with a time machine and vaccinated people mm -hmm. last year with those strains, it still wouldn't be effective because it's only a couple of them. Mm -hmm. And uh, there is such a long incubation period that by the time the flu shot is ready to be manufactured, those, uh, those strains have already mutated. Right. And then there are so many opportunities in the cycle of the product delivery and the logistics that something can go wrong, mm -hmm. uh, including if the cold chain is broken, then the product is ineffective. If it gets too cold or too warm, or if it freezes, uh, uh, or the, the power goes out in the transportation truck. Wow, uh, I didn't, I didn't all even of realize all of this. Would make your flu shot ineffective. Mm -hmm. Now, even if that didn't work, the flu shot is notoriously one of the most ineffective vaccines in the market. It is up to 80% ineffective. Now, if you had a car seat that um, caused your child death or injury 80% of the time and 80% of the users, mm -hmm. that product would be off the yeah. market. No questions asked, they would be sued mm -hmm. for billions of dollars. Now, unfortunately, this is not the case for vaccine manufacturers because of the 1986 Act that we might talk about in another video that they're protected. Yeah, so, so let's talk about that on another video because that's very important. Right. I don't think that people realize that these pharmaceutical companies are completely protected, protected. from being from having any kind of responsibility for vaccine injury right. at all. And, right. and that is why you were hearing all these uh, flu shot advertisements everywhere because nobody pushing it to you is accountable. Your doctor is not accountable, the legislators are not accountable, the uh, uh, grocery store or the pharma pharmaceuticals, uh, the pharmacy, the drug store that's giving you a bottle of free can uh, Coke for getting your flu shot, mm -hmm. nobody is accountable. You end up hurt or dead, or you end up with a hurt or dead baby, God forbid, mm -hmm. it's on you. You're going to suffer for that. Mm -hmm. Flu shot alone is responsible for over 50% of the monies paid out by the Vaccine Injury Compensation Fund. Overall, it takes the big cheese in terms of causing the most harm to the most number of Americans compared to all the other vaccines. It is by far the most dangerous one and it is also ineffective. So do the math. No gain, mm -hmm. all pain. Why are we doing this? It is proven to increase your chances of um, uh, uh, infections Mm -hmm. and hospitalizations mm -hmm. and uh, it also causes more COVID and it also causes uh, long-term issues um, 
if it is an all around bad idea. If you want one recommendation on the flu shot, don't get it. <laughs> and tell everyone not to get it. If your doctor is pushing you into it, mm -hmm. ask them for the vaccine insert and ask them to walk you through what's in it. Yes, ask them for the vaccine insert. I love that. I think that's fantastic advice. I don't think most people think to do that. No. I know when I was having children and they were going, well, my children weren't vaccinated, but during the time when they should have been getting vaccinated, nobody knew to ask for a vaccine insert, including myself. Right. So, um, all right. So first of all, thank you so much for sharing all that information and I your knowledge um, and your experience because you've had firsthand, this is like coming from firsthand experience um, from, from being in the pharmaceutical industry. You brought up a number of points that I want to touch on on future videos. So I want to talk about um, a comment that you had made about an increased um, incidence of patients with COVID who get the flu vaccine. So mm -hmm. I think we need to talk about that. How many of you guys would like to hear about that? So I do, <laughs> yes. Um, and the other thing I think we need to talk about on future on the future videos, which I don't think a lot of people know about, is the vaccine injury injured fund. And vaccine injury what compensation fund. Compensation fund and what that is and what that's for. So mm -hmm. so let's do that. Are you guys ready to rock and roll? <laughs> All right. Well tune in to the next video. Of course, if you ever have any questions, you guys know where to find me. It's Healing Hands of Manahawk and just call me anytime. Thanks so much. Thank you.